When trauma happens, its impact is generally felt in the body first. That's why working with the body can be crucial for helping patients heal from a traumatic experience. But sometimes, even just being aware of their bodies can make some trauma survivors feel re-traumatized. So how can we help them move beyond the fear or anxiety that the body often holds? According to Dr. Pat Ogden, there's one thing in particular that could give patients a new perspective. It's, it's highly individual depending on the client. Some clients are very afraid to even be aware of their body because as soon as they become aware, they feel re-traumatized. They feel all the fear and they feel the arousal. They might start to shake um, <clears throat> and they don't see a way through that. Right? So sometimes psychoeducation can really help that a normal response of the body is to tighten up and freeze and shake when there's trauma. And those responses are natural with trauma and we can work with those through physical action, through re-engaging protective mechanisms in the body. Sometimes a little bit of psychoeducation goes a long way. Some clients are phobic of the term body, and even using that term sends their arousal out of the window. So we might talk in a different way. We might talk about experience or movement instead of body. Other clients need what we would call somatic resources, like, like one patient that I had uh, severe, severe trauma, highly dissociative. When she sat down, she couldn't really focus. She was so frightened. And she kept, her legs were really tight and she kept looking at the door. And so we simply got up and started walking around the office. And I asked her just to feel the power of her legs, like that her legs could take her away. Anytime she wanted, she could walk out that door. And to really feel that in her body when she sat back down, she said, I feel really different. Because although she intellectually knew, of course, that she could walk out, she didn't have that somatic sense of her legs being able to flee. Because as a child, she was a prisoner of her abuser. She couldn't, she couldn't flee, she couldn't get away. So sometimes those kinds of resources can then open up the, the safety that's needed to work with the body. I, I, I tell you know, people that you, you need to find out from your client why they're so frightened of their body and then find a way to with psychoeducation or somatic resources or case examples to help them feel hopeful. When it comes to treating trauma, one key is understanding the source of each client's apprehensions so we can help them feel safe working with the body.